Welcome everyone. So today's program is brought to you with funding from the Iowa Energy Center. This is the Iowa Community Solar Webinar. Aaron Buchanan is Energy Services Coordinator at Cedar Falls Municipal Utilities. I was asked to come in and uh, give a small overview of our particular project. Uh, if you have any questions, please please jump in. This is just one again one one community project. There's uh, many different ways ways to do this, as both Joel and uh, Reggie uh, alluded to in their presentations. Um, our particular project, we happen to find the phrase "simple solar" pretty pretty catchy for the the type of project that we are trying to promote in our community. Um, we also, just like other communities in Iowa, had received a, a lot of interest from a variety of cu customers uh, in clean, locally-based energy. And w one of the things that we had noticed was some of the other solar projects around Iowa, and we thought we would investigate trying to set one up here. Uh, for us, the, the community involvement um, the community side of this solar project involves direct involvement with customers, um, customers who are interested, uh, being able to directly contribute and sign up for the project and then receive credits back um, in a manner that Joel described earlier. It's, it's kind of the capacity uh, model that Joel described and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit. Uh, but first I wanna show some pictures. Um, the site that we've selected is at Prairie Lakes Park, which is a park here in town. We worked with our city and um, I think you've seen some of these pictures in the other slides already, but um, it's kind of, it's near a, a local lake in our park here. Uh, how it works is it does involve that, that one-time payment. Um, right now the price is at $399. It may go down slightly depending upon the number of subscription shares that, that our customers reserve. Uh, in our particular model, customers then get credit on their bill for 20 years and they get credit for their share of the energy that that installation output. Uh, we adjust our credit annually and we adjust that based on what it costs, our avoided costs at the time. Um, so for each year, uh, as our avoided costs very likely increase, the credit that we award uh, to our customers who are participating, that credit will continue uh, very likely to rise over the next 20 years. Uh, based on our early projections, it's of course difficult to project in the future, but we believe that this, the simple payback the, um, will be about 15 years. In other words, people will likely recoup the cost of that initial $399 investment within 15 years. Um, one of the things that we liked in our efforts to make it, uh, quote, simple for customers was we wanted to make sure that customers, if they moved across town or if they moved out of town, they could actually transfer their share to either their new address in town or they could transfer their, their share to someone else in town uh, if they are moving out of town. They can also sell it back to us. I think that's similar to uh, some of the other uh, projects here in, in Iowa as well. Uh, here's another example. We've, uh, these yard signs have just been a lot of fun. They've been popping up everywhere, uh, including some businesses too. I think we've, there's definitely a, probably 300 of them out, maybe 400, but um, it's, it's really been going well. Uh, this is in the middle of our promotion here. We've been promoting our, our shares, as Joel alluded, promoting our program um, in June and July. Uh, we needed to hit at least 3,000 reservations to make the project happen. Um, we've hit we've hit that, and it's continuing to rise. July is not over yet, so so we may see that uh, increase a little bit more. Uh, this does mean that we, we'd be looking um, at a project between 500 and 500 kilowatts and. 1500 kilowatts um, AC in size. Again, we, we will determine that more finally in August or September at the end of our drive. And uh, it looks like if all goes according to plan, our construction would take place over the fall and the winter and come online uh, sometime next spring. 
And uh, Reggie, I, I agreed with your, your comment about the energy efficiency. Uh, that is something that we also like to continue to, to keep at the forefront of the discussion. Um, we think that can also be, that is a, a least cost resource. So that's a little bit about our project. Uh, we, we think it's, we just love to hear questions from customers. We've had so, so much dialogue about that in town. So if you had any, any questions, um, please ask them. And I'm sure any of us uh, speakers can, can give our opinions. Okay, thank you so much, Aaron.